After the noise and commotion of a brutal attack, the silence. Outside Forbury Gardens, office workers and police officers paused for a minute and reflected on the murders of three innocent people on Saturday night. At the school nearby where one of the victims, James Furlong, taught, they stopped too. Children whose need for comfort overruled social distancing guidelines. James was a very kind and gentle man. He had a real sense of duty and cared for each and every one of our students. He truly inspired everyone he taught through his passion for his subject and his dedication. Joe Ritchie Bennett was named as another victim. Originally from Philadelphia, he had lived in the UK for 15 years. His brother told a US paper, our family is heartbroken and beside ourselves. He did not deserve to go out like this. His father added, I absolutely love my son with all of my heart and all of my soul. Martin Cooper was friends with both men. Joe was a, a vibrant uh, character, always made you feel welcome. Such a lo lovely guy, such a tragic loss of life. James was a, um, a really pleasant person to speak to. He was a, a friend, a confidant when you needed him. Um, often sitting, putting the world to rights. Sitting is what they, and a third victim who hasn't been named, were doing on Saturday night when they were stabbed by a stranger. The Home Secretary visited the spot, now being scoured by forensics officers. What we saw here on Saturday evening in Reading was the actions of one lone individual. We should bear that in mind. The police have that individual in custody. They're not looking for anybody else. We should all remain alert. This is Kyrie Sadala, the 25-year-old refugee from Libya being held by police, briefly on MI5's radar last year, but judged not to be a threat. As police question him, local people are trying to make sense of it all. These girls have lost the teacher who went the extra mile, who was supposed to be giving them a history lesson on Wednesday. These men have lost two friends, kind, bright individuals, and many, many others are grieving too.